Hello, I'm Reuben Moss and this is the Brunswick Railroad Museum's Railroad View Park Project. Ride a float boat down the Potomac or a railroad sleeping car rolling westward. Ride a canal boat to Cumberland or Washington. Guide a team of horses across the Potomac Bridge or drive a buggy across the River Ford. Stand in Brunswick at the transportation crossroads. And Brunswick is indeed a transportation crossroads. Originally a canal town called Berlin, the Chesapeake and Ohio Canal Visitor Center in Brunswick tells of the heavy competition between the canal and the Baltimore Ohio Railroad as they both passed through the area in the mid-1830s. In 1890, as Brunswick was incorporated with its new name, the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad decided to construct their new classification yards here. At five miles long when completed in 1907, the Brunswick Rail Yard was the largest owned by a single railroad company at the time. While much of the yard is gone now, trains still pass through Brunswick on a regular basis. So why put a park in Brunswick dedicated to train watching? The Baltimore and Ohio Railroad became part of the Chessie system in the 1970s, in turn becoming part of CSX transportation in 1987. Brunswick sees up to 70 trains a day, many of them are CSX freight trains. Some, however, are not Many people come to the Brunswick commuter station and parking lot to watch trains. Unfortunately, this offers very little shelter, is very close to the tracks, and the fact that hundreds of people arrive every weekday on marked commuter trains makes this a potentially dangerous place to watch trains, especially with young children. However, there is a solution. Just a short walk away is a property known as Railroad View Park. This property, currently leased by the city of Brunswick from CSX, could be developed into a safe place to watch trains and offers a spectacular view of both sets of mainline tracks in either direction and directly ahead. The property hasn't always been a grassy hill. Much of the 20th century, the Brunswick b and YMCA stood here. The Brunswick Railroad Museum houses an extensive collection of YMCA memorabilia. The three-story building was a popular restaurant pub, barbershop, meeting hall, and even the public library. Sadly, a devastating fire in November of 1980 destroyed the building. If the museum receives enough public support and can acquire the property from the railroad, we propose constructing a park to both safely view trains and to further educate visitors about the railroad and how to be safe around it. An attempt would be made to acquire this piece of rolling stock. A Bud Rail diesel car built in 1953 for the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad, it would be restored and placed alongside the remaining foundation of the YMCA, which itself would be incorporated into an all-new exhibit dedicated to the YMCA and other buildings that shaped Brunswick but no longer exist. A pavilion as seen here would be constructed for sheltered viewing of trains. Restrooms would be provided in a partially above ground basement and an overhead audio system would play radio frequencies to tell when a train was coming. The pavilion would offer a view much like this. The photo was taken off the back porch of the YMCA. Even with the roundhouse and other yard structures gone, this spot offers a great view. 
Let's see a few trains from the park. Mark Engine 59 just arrived with P879 on track 1. About 10 minutes later, we have Amtrak P029 on Capital Limited passing on track 1. After that, this train of empty coal hoppers left the yard on track 6 to go west onto track 1. This is one of CSX's main lines and offers a variety of train cars. Hoppers, gondolas, box cars, auto racks, covered hoppers, and even tank cars filled with corn syrup or paint are just a few examples of what train cars come through on a regular basis. Along with the radio scanner, the westbound signals are located at the west end of the park, visible from anywhere train watchers would stand in the park. The tall signal controls mainline track number one. The two smaller dwarf signals are for the adjacent tracks numbers three and five. The dwarf signal at the museum demonstrates. The horizontal red lights indicate that either a train is passing or has just passed the signal, and the engineer of the approaching train needs to stop 100 feet before the signal. A diagonal yellow indication tells an engineer to proceed with caution because while the block, the stretch of tracks between signals, directly ahead is clear, there is a train on the block just beyond it. And finally the vertical green indication tells that the track ahead is clear of trains and the engineer is allowed to proceed at the posted speed for his or her train. If you have any questions about this project, would like to learn more, or just want to show your support, visit www.brrm.net backslash rrpark and click the links to go to the forums. Thank you for watching the Brunswick Railroad Museum's Introduction to Railroad View Park.